Master here, with, along with, with, let me do it, with Stokely Hathaway, the hardest working man in sports and entertainment, and the godfather of Swole. Well, we are not here to talk about you. We're here to talk about the amazing card we have tonight. Only fools are satisfied. And we're starting off with quite the match here. We have Chris Dickinson, who's taking it to his opponent, Brian Cage. Laid in a big super kick there from Brian Cage. And I'm proud of Chris Dickinson. He received a standing ovation when he walked out. And the guess what? Here, I'm sorry to cut you off, but the fans here know. They know that Chris Dickinson is up for a fight here against Brian Cage. And these men are taking it. Big man Lucha taking him down. What a 6-1-9 from Brian Cage. This man doesn't even look human. I'm fully convinced that he is a robot posing as a human being on this planet Earth. Absolutely, and, and we all gotta know that you're out here, you gotta be scouting every single talent that you see up here in Limitless Wrestling. And Brian Cage with a giant tope con hilo on to Chris Dickinson, taking him down. No sign of Chris Dickinson moving. Get him back in the ring. I mean, at this point, I would sell my children to manage Brian Cage. That's all, that's pretty that's amazing. A that's How a many compliment. children do you have that you could sell? 18. I mean, you can sell at least 16 of them, keep your two favorites, you know what I mean? Nah, I, I kind of don't have any favorites. Come on. Listen, man, let's talk about the match. I don't want to go to jail. Right? I was talking about the match, but you're over here bringing nah, up your no, 18 no, kids. No, 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 We should no. be talking about Brian Cage and Chris Dickinson taking it to each other in the opening contest here tonight. I think from now on, you just call him Dirty Daddy. I mean, I, I, mean, I refuse to, but that's, that's what they were chanting, so. He is the dirty daddy and it got up against the fucking machine of Brian Cage. He's laying in those clotheslines in the corner. But Chris Dickinson is looking for a fight. Those hard chops, and they did not face Brian Cage one bit. A normal man would be dead at this point. I would have tapped out after that first clothesline. No, thank you. That is why I quit the business. Wow, you quit? I didn't know that you were in the business. Wow. Well, come on. You were on those shows. You used to put up the ring for those shows that I worked on. What down shows? In the Philadelphia area. What shows? Come on. What shows? Did he catch his throat across the top rope? He did. He did. Cage is out of it. Chris Dickinson going the top. I believe he's looking for a leg drop. Oh! What a madman. Down the back. The back of Brian Cage's head hit the edge of the ring. This is the first match and they have gone all out. The fans here in Maine showing their appreciation for these two men bringing it. I mean, these dueling chants are something else. I wish they would just pick a side and stick with it. Chris Dickinson wanting to get the pinfall there, wasn't going to stand for the uh, count out victory. But no, he, he really wants to prove himself because if you beat someone the caliber of Brian Cage, you, you got to get more eyes on you. Not that Chris Dickinson doesn't already have those eyes. Oh, come but. on, come on. Listen, if you notice, if you notice, Brian Cage did not have a very forceful kick out. It was like he could barely get his shoulder up. And that's how much Chris Dickinson has taken it to the machine. I agree, and that's what I'm saying. He wants to get that pinfall victory. Of course. Tying him up a little it. bit of tree of woe. Brian Cage is just a monstrous man. His head is in an awkward position, laying on the mat as Chris Dickinson raining kicks down on his midsection. I have no idea what Chris Dickinson is looking for at this point. Oh, he has Brian Cage where he wants him. And Cage again. It's like he's struggling. Chris Dickinson is, is he's ruthless. He's taking it to Brian Cage. And I don't think I've ever seen Brian Cage in any match spend that much time on the mat in between uh, anything. He's usually to his feet, he's trying to mount an offense, but right now he, he, he's gasping for air after those kicks. Oh, and more, just right on the chest. I mean, I talked to Dickinson beforehand, and he said exactly what you alluded to earlier. He wants to make a statement. He wants to go and brag about beating Brian Cage by himself, one-on-one. -on -one. 
Because, hell, if I beat Brian oh. Cage, I would talk about it forever. Right on top of his head, this is a pretty predicament. Once again, just, and just would you, barely to get those shoulders up. But would you normally expect that out of Chris Dickinson, that tornado DDT? He knows that Brian Cage is a stronger individual than him. So he needs to you know, apply more of that lucha that he knows, as we saw at the beginning of the match, more of his high flying that he can do to just drive Brian Cage down and keep him down. Wow, that's a great analysis. So you actually did wrestle. I did, you know me very well. You, I've never heard of you my entire I life. He, did you carry show. my bags into one of those shows? I oh, and a big brain buster. This is it. I mean, the strength that it took for Chris Dickinson to lift up a man the size of Brian Cage is out of this world. And, and hold him up there. It wasn't a lackadaisical, you know, flop him right over. He held him up there for a second to angle his head directly towards the mat and drop him. And now Dickinson is trying to wear Brian Cage out. I mean, look, look at Dickinson's face. Like he looks like a madman. Like he looks, he looks like a sociopath. Uh, he is, if you've ever spoken to him. That is true. Oh, you know what? I wasn't trying to say it. I managed Dickinson okay. outside of here. You know, so anyone who puts blood all over their kick pads, whether it be be real or applied by himself, is, is got to be a psychopath. And That's anyone fair. to stand up after a, 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 a forearm slap. like that and deliver a slap oh is also a psychopath. That slap He's looks like it didn't even phase Cage. Oh. Another one. Cage fighting back. These two men are just not wanting to give an inch. They're just standing and, and throwing hands. But who can go toe to toe with Brian Cage like that? Like, I, I, I mean, that's incredible. A little bit of a backbreaker into a swinging neckbreaker combination. It may have even the odds here. Brian Cage now has a sold out capacity crowd behind him. Looks like that's what he needed. Oh, a little Inziguri. German suplexes Chris Dickinson. Beautiful snap, German. Deep hook. He had all of his weight applied on that lateral press. He had a deep hook in, and, and Chris Dickinson able to kick out relatively with ease. He's got very strong legs. And I don't know what Brian Cage can do to keep him down. Yeah, I mean, he's trying his best. I mean, he hasn't been the same since that leg drop to the outside. Whoa, oh, oh. dragon too much. He says oh. down, thank you. Chris Dickinson catches him. All the way through. One bit. Oh, a backdrop driver. What How? does Dickinson need to do at this point? How is he kicking out of these suplexes? I told you he's a robot. You didn't believe me earlier. He's not real. Brain buster. Dragon suplex. Backdrop driver. All on the back of the neck. High on the back of the neck. And Chris Dickinson, like he, like, like, he smelled that blood. He's tasted it. He's ready to end this right here, right now. I think he's going for that Pazuzu bomb. Is he going to be able to get him up for the Pazuzu bomb? I think that's the I, question I, here tonight. I, I, I think I, right now it's no. The answer is no. Little Alabama slam. Back of his head dribbling off the mat. Dickinson looks like he's out. He's, he's trying to fight out of that power bomb. Can he do it? Oh! Buckle bomb. Discus Larry misses. Inziguri on the back of the neck. How is Dickinson even moving after that buckle bomb? Chris Dickinson was trying to hook on a little bit of a, a, a triangle, but Brian Cage says no, tosses him as hard as he can into the buckle. These two men do not want to give an inch. But the impact of the buckle, the whiplash, again, a normal human being. These are not normal human beings. That's We've been talking about that the whole time. We're, we're a psychopath and a machine. No, but I'm saying anyone else would have been out. Like This match would have been Absolutely. done after the first match. I, I completely agree with you. These two men are not normal. Cage is Dickinson up. What is he going for? It looked like an F5 there, but Dickinson lands on his feet. Goes for one of his own. Brian Cage lifts him. Reversal after reversal. These two men studying each other. They're both students of the game. After an O'Connell roll, gets a kicked out. Again, Here we Dickinson go again, up, up on the shoulders. Low oh. F5 into more of a DDT variation there. Right after one, he kicked out at one. Stokely, he kicked out at one. He says, no, thank you. And he's fired the fuck up. Oh. 
and Cage wants him to bring it. Those forearms are thudding off the jaw. Who would and ask Cage for one jaw. more? Oh, kick right to the neck. Come on, kick that. right on the right on the jugular. But imagine being in the ring with Brian Cage and saying, one more, do it again. Hit me harder. Bicycle kick on the jaw. Suplex set up. Oh. Screwdriver! Kick out! 